Hello guys, Josh here, also known as Mighty Pretty King, and we are going to be doing our very first Transformer Prime toy review. Uh, this is going to be on Voyager class bulkhead, so hopefully this turns out alright. Um, I have quite a few of the Transformer Prime figures, but this is the first one that I've actually opened out of the box and uh, tried to transform them, and my god did I need the directions. And even looking at the directions, I wasn't able to really figure it out and until like a few tries. Uh, now, you know, some of the younger kids that, you know, they grew up with, I guess, you know, Bayformer Transformers and this Transformer Prime to where, like, this is the standard uh, of the way Transformers are transformed. Uh, I wasn't like that in G1. We could pretty much just pick this guy up and just you know, crack him open and just start messing around with him. And about 30 seconds later, he'd be transformed. And you were able to transform back and forth while you're playing with them in, you know, battle and stuff like that. So, very simple. Uh, these guys, uh, it's very difficult. Uh, I looked through the directions and messed up numerous amount of times even following the directions. So, uh, But uh, we're not here to, about to talk about G1 or Bayformers, definitely. We'll never talk about them. Even though I mentioned them quite a bit, but it's only because of my... You know, we're going to stop there. But, uh, yeah, as far as this guy goes, uh, kind of cool little, you know, I don't know if you'd call this kind of like an armored truck, kind of Hummer looking vehicle, but not bad looking. Uh, wish they would have came with some stickers, man. That's one thing that, again, you know, G1 was supreme is because this guy is... Actually, here's Punch Counter Punch G1. This guy is heavier than Bulkhead. So, there you go. This guy's just full of plastic. Now, I like this little smasher thing, or I guess you could use it as like a little radar dish, but they actually came with. Oh my goodness, Hasbro, stop with the gimmicks. I mean, Koi lights up, it's got this little ball, wrecking ball that it looks like on the cartoons. They're like, hey, look, you can put it on top of his truck, and you can't even get it all in the camera. And I have it backed up all the way. Uh, that's, yeah, it's not that entertaining. Now, I can see, you know, you're reaching out to, you know, the younger crowd, and maybe they're like this, you know, says it glows in the dark on the box, but it's actually a light up, so I wouldn't call it a glow in the dark. But, uh, okay, for kids, I got it, but I'm not going to put this on my character. So, let's take this guy apart and get into the transformation. I transformed this guy like two days ago, so uh, I'm probably going to fail. I don't have a whole lot to say as far as bio about this guy. I'm not a box reader or a wiki reader, so whenever I do reviews, everything that I say is either off of my childhood memory or watching the cartoon, you know, maybe a couple months ago or something like that, and uh, this is what I remembered, so... I'm not going to be reading the box, and this guy was pretty much, I guess, the replacement for Grimlock. So he's kind of that big, powerful, and but dumb uh, transformer for the Autobots. So <laughs> let's. Oh my God, I forgot even where to start. Uh, yeah, we'll go there. So this isn't going to be a how to transform this guy. This is pretty much more of a see how bad a G1 fan fails video I guess you could say. We're gonna go ahead and put that those arms down. This come on, this comes out somehow, right? We're pro we're probably gonna break this thing, to be honest. Get out of there Get out Yeah we're gonna break it. Oh there he goes. My goodness. You gotta be kidding me with this guy. Alright, move his legs out. Get those out of the way. Uh, we're, let's see. Yeah, spin these legs around, I guess. And push his feet down, and then push that little toe out. Yeah, so push those feet down. Yeah, there we go. So there's his legs. Hey, we're not doing too bad. Uh, we'll move those around. We'll go ahead and get his little head up move the camera up a little bit here oh god what do we do with this stuff these come around somehow right yeah yeah 
I know there's like some five year old out there that's like, dude, I would have had that thing transformed back and forth like five times already. But you know what? I'm not used to these guys. So, I'm not saying anything bad about them. I mean, they could look kind of cool. Or they, they do look cool. You know, I like them. But it's just it's difficult for us guys that grew up with a little bit easier to transform. So, yeah, there he goes. It's not. Like I said, he's not a bad looking character. He's very show accurate. I'm going to put this on his side because I like that weapon a lot more than this big old thing sitting on his arm. Uh, that just kind of looks ridiculous, honestly. And it won't even stay, you know, out. I guess if you took the spring or something out of it, it would. But as far as articulation goes, his head uh, can move. Uh, I can see that if you push down, his chin will go up like he's biting his lip like RC just pissed him off and so he's biting his lip now, but you can put it back down. Uh, as far as arms go, uh, he's got a little ball joint here, move up and down, his swivel right here at the shoulder as well. I uh, can move at the elbow and he can move a little bit like right here too. So. Uh, same as the other arm, obviously. Uh, as far as leg, uh, he can, you know, ball joint, move it in and out, do those little split things, turn, rotate, bend it, the knee, and I think that's pretty much it. But you could get this guy in some pretty cool poses. So we're going to bend him at the knee a little bit, and he's going to act like he's about to uppercut, move his hand, and he's about to pound somebody. So. Yeah, so there is Bulkhead. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, I don't really know a whole lot about this character. This was basically watching me, you know, fell. You know, maybe I didn't fell too many times, but I uh, definitely struggled transforming this guy. But, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're a Transformer Prime fan or you like these figures or you're starting to collect them, I think he's a pretty good figure. Uh, I'd definitely pick him up. He looks good. He looks show accurate. Um, he is Voyager class. I picked him up a couple of weeks ago at Walmart for like under $20. So, a uh, pretty good buy. So, if you guys would like to see more Transformer Prime uh, figures and fail transformations, basically, I'm going to do these all on first take. So, hopefully, none of them are like 20 minutes long. So, uh, but thanks for watching, guys. If you like the video, leave a like. Uh, subscribe for more and. I'm Mighty Pretty King, out.